Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today we are back here at our lovely workshop, where it is dance-off day, which, ah oh boy, considering that starts later in the afternoon, my original plan was to actually, you know, handle my usual morning routine, and maybe do a few other things in town, like commissions, before that, so we can just, you know, start with the dance-off, as I don't remember ever doing this before, so I'm intrigued to see how it goes, but immediately upon exiting my home a moment ago, I got pulled into a cutscene. So... <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Once I saw it, I left quick. Oh boy, so I guess we are going to be starting in the morning, huh? Which, I mean, we don't really have anything else besides the dance-off, do we? I mean, we've still got the fighting Bogan Jack, but I, I forgot to look up where he is again. <laughs> God, I really need to remember to do that. And, of course, we've got the goat thing, which I still don't have the chilies for. So, yeah, my only plan was the dance-off itself, but we'll see if there's anything else out there after this cutscene and uh, see what we're gonna get. So let's head on out, and who needs me? I don't know, but let's find out. I have a feeling I know because of, you know, things that happened last episode with Elsie. Probably gonna be more with that, I would think. But we'll find out momentarily after a surprisingly long yeah. low. There we go. Get your behind over here. Hi, Cooper. Yep, it's this. I kind of figured. Hi. Ha, uh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Let's go home. Elsie, I mean, eh. let's see where this goes. You ain't got a say in this one. I got a bone to pick with you. I thought you building folk were supposed to be good people. Color me's the prize when I find out you've been helping Elsie with her shenanigans. Uh-huh. I mean, I figured the girl was going to ask for my help with the monster hunting because of my experience. I didn't realize this is where it was going to go. But I still blame Mabel for last uh, episode, what happened to her. So, um, don't be ridiculous. I don't like Cooper anyways, so don't be ridiculous. Huh? You say something? I did. I reckon you're mumbling your words there. Sounds like back talk to me. You want to smack down Cooper? I could take you easy, old man. Come on, Pa. It was all my idea. I was the one that got him to get the book. I've been telling you, they ain't done nothing. I mean, again, I figured, she, I mean, I should have known better that she wasn't going to ask for help because it is Elsie. But still blame Mabel. Shut your mouth, missy. I ain't done yet. You, you're going to stay away from my daughter. You hear? And Elsie... They're a bad influence on you. I forbid you from seeing them anymore. Yeah, that's not going to work out, Cooper. Also, I still don't understand how old she is. <laughs> I've been wondering about this for ages. How old is Elsie supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know, but Cooper, it's not, it's not going to go well. But, but, Pa... Did I stutter? No, but... You're still an ass. Uh... You done nothing wrong. I know that. Pa, huh? you can't tank this old. I'm done. Mine had her meds. I'm heading back. Hey, I'm sorry. All right, Elsie. Get back here, girl. Yeah, I would say you can't control her, Cooper. But again, I have no idea how old old she's supposed to be. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know at all. It's I've been so confused about that for so long. And another thing. Yeah, I, hmm. I'm gonna listen because I'm intrigued, but I really want to leave because I've never liked Cooper. But let's listen. Kids these days got no respect. Back in my day, ain't no one dare go against elders or risk the boot. Yeah, somehow I doubt that, especially with you. Heck, if I lied to my Paul. I'd be running laps around Sandrock in my undies till daybreak. And with three brothers, seven cousins, twice removed. Oh, dear God. Twice removes and uh, two returning. Two returning, none what? None of them dared speak out of line. That kind of, uh, hmm. Hmm. That two returning thing kind of wears me out. <laughs> how did they, how did they return? Also, man, I know town's lost a lot of people, but. They really have all those folk in this town before because they're they're all gone now. I'm a saint compared to my old man. <laughs> if any of us break the rule, we'd have to go fishing. Dang, I still get shaken when I see a trap. 
fishing uh, ain't sounding bad, but uh -huh. he ain't allowed to come back to a kind of Chuchinoco. Okay, he's just doing his rambling now. I'm out. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> this is how you treat people? No respect, I swear. Well, I have no respect for you, Cooper, but that's an entirely separate situation. <laughs> oh, oh, mail, yeah. Ooh, and stuff. Yay. Okay, great. More jeweled egg pieces. All right, well, let's check the mail. We got something from Elsie. Hey, what? <laughs> oh, hey, my commission. Yay, I got all my compact motors. Wonderful. Let's acquire that. Ooh, and some jobs. Oh, just a gift thing from her. I've been blistering out late. Yeah, it's the uh, same thing. We've we've gotten this message before from her. Okay, well, I'll take the jerky. Thank you, Elsie. Yeah, seriously, how old is she? <laughs> I've been so confused by that for so long because she actually is a romanceable option in the game and so she's obviously around about my age and she's good friends with my Anne and they seem to be around about the same age-ish. I, I just, I just, move out of your house, girl. Move out of their house. Leave Cooper. I mean, she was talking about leaving town in general, which... Probably should to get away from Cooper, let's be honest. But, just move out. There's plenty of room at the hotel for people. <laughs> I never liked Cooper. Alright, he was one of the early people in the game that I disliked. <laughs> Others I didn't come to dislike till later. But, okay. Ooh, more jerky here too. Nice. Why do I not have anything in my eight? Hmm. Oh yeah, well, grab my things. Alright, do we have anything interesting to put into here? Eh, nah. I was wondering if we had any any more of the advanced scrap, but apparently no. And no copper there available. We do got some plastic though, excellent. I think we've got some iron scrap too lying around. Beautiful. And then let's check. Oh, actually, I was about to say, let's check the map after we finish taking care of these. And it does appear that we've got something. Wait, what? I did have more copper scrap. Huh? Oh, I think I know what happened. Yep, it's a 12. It's a 12. I needed to make a new one, not add more. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. But yeah, I, but we do seem to have a blue thing out there now in the world. So I do want to check that out here momentarily. Let's put the fine wood scrap in there too. And... Yeah, put you. And we've got a few more there too. Sweet. So just a couple of things here, which we did have some room left over in you. So let's put the rubber scrap in there. Nice. All right. Nifty. Oh, and off cam, I did build myself some more of the, uh, you know, fancy Super Duke collectors. So we've got four of those now and the six regular ones. So we're getting some more water, which is magnificent. So we definitely need more of these. I've got plenty of materials. I've got plenty of materials. The one thing I do need to make some more of before I can fully replace all of my Duke collectors is uh, the tempered glass. So I do need to make more of that. But besides that, we've got plenty in the other things, and oh boy, I need I need my vacuum. That one's covered in dirt. Or sand, rather. It's sand. It's <laughs> We're in a desert. There we go. Lovely. Any of you? Nah, those are all good. Oh yeah, also did go down into the uh you follow salvage ruins to get some more stuff for bronze, because we were running low on that. Let's actually get some more tempered glass going on this one. There, oh my god, I have over a thousand dynasts. Of course, of course! Uh, let's get some more bronze going on you. Oh, I'm almost out of ten already. Jesus, I did not grab enough. Whoops. There we go. And finish up the rest of the ten. Should have grabbed more. Should have grabbed more. Oh well. Okay, drop all this stuff off, get the fuel going, and then check what's on the map for the blue. Jesus, we have over 2,000, well, had over 2,000 dregs. Just got rid of a lot of that. Alright, so what is the blue? We still got the orange over there collecting the rutabagas, despite the fact that, you know, I've I've got the rutabagas. It's just a chili. Oh, something over by the game center. Interesting. You know, we haven't given my aunt a gift in a while. Let's, let's make her a table real quick. <laughs> she always likes the fancy desk, right? That's a good one. 
Okay, I need to make more leather. You know, I probably have more than enough materials for that. For basic leather. Okay, not as much as I thought. But, I mean... Oh, never mind. <laughs> for some reason, I saw the 16 when I was there. I was like, oh, we can only make 16? And then I saw these. I was like, wait, I can make a lot more than 16. <laughs> I was just looking in the wrong darn place. Alright, let's make like 20. Here we go. And premium desk. Magnificent. Okay, and let's go give that to my end. Get her a new desk. Alright. So what in the heck is... Okay, so we got this. Why is it covered in gifts? That seems weird. I assume the dance-off is just going to be happening here. Oh, we have a sign-up thing, and I never noticed. Oh, were we supposed to sign up yesterday, and I didn't? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh, I've made mistakes. Well, guess we're not participating in the dance-off then, because, yeah, I can't I can't sign up here now. I really hate that you can't sign up day of. I always That always annoys the hell out of me. So I always forget about that, because some festivals need a sign-up thing, some don't. And I never remember which one's which until it's too late. I could go back to my other save, because we do have a save that's from, like, right before... The, I go to sleep, so we might be able to do that, but do I care? I It's a dance-off, which means it's going to be a rhythm game, and I hate, and I'm also horrible at rhythm games. I went out in a rush the other day. Uh-huh. My furnace is going without enough fuel. Oh, no. Back to a bunch of unfinished nothing. God, been there, done that. How come you always seem to know when your machines are out of fuel? I got a giant fuel hopper. Furnace whisperer. No, I just got a giant fuel hopper. Used to have that trouble though back in the day. And have a premium desk. Oh, thank you. Chites. Was something that happens? <laughs> Wait, was it not the premium desk she liked? Crap. Uh, and then she runs off as usual. Wait, well, I thought it was the premium desk she liked. Was it a different one? Working desk. Ah, oh, working desk. Oh, damn. <laughs> so yeah, the five is just the neutral one that doesn't actually list in here. Great, great. It was the, of course, it, I, of course I should have known it would be the working desk with her. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, that was a waste of materials, but oh well. She still liked it, so. Well, let's go over to this thing. And see what we got, and then maybe I'll save scum, and maybe not. I don't know, I can't decide. Alright, what's the blue? That blue moon place looks pretty good. Let's <gasps> grab something from there. Tourists! I need a tumbleweed right now. I'm so hungry. Uh huh, uh huh. Well, they got stuff better than I tumbleweed. Beat my high score. Get a game on an empty stomach, though. Maybe you should sub some snacks in there. Hey! Thank goodness you're here. Did uh -huh. you see that? Paying customers walked right out the door looking for grub. Yeah, maybe you should sell some snacks in there. Just, you know, have like a little vending machine or something. Oh my god, that's what I'm gonna make, isn't it? It's not enough that I gotta pull the customers in. I gotta keep them here somehow. Am I actually gonna make a vending machine? <laughs> If so, good on me for calling it, but I, mm, mm, we'll see. That's why I came up with a terrific idea to turn this challenge into an opportunity. Uh-huh. Snack bar, maybe? If people don't have to leave to get a snack, they'll keep dropping tokens into my machine. Yeah, that is fair. And if the snacks are also bought with tokens, that's a double win, am I right? Ooh, you're going to do with tokens, huh? Yeah, it's a vending machine. She's going to ma have me make a vending machine. So here's what I'm thinking. I need a storage rack. Then I can offer something for people to snack on to keep them from wandering off. Oh, just a storage rack. Okay. Think you can make me one? Of course. It's a great idea. Great. I think you make it on your work table. Uh -huh. But eh, when you're done, can you please install it for me as well? Oh, thank Thanks. God. I don't have to wait for a schematic. It's not one of those tomorrow things. Yay. I might be able to get this done, like, right now. Which would be good. We've got everything, apparently. So make... Oh, it's just a simple bookcase? Really? That's all you're going with? That's all you want and need is a simple bookcase? You know, I was actually kind of hoping for the vending machine. I think that would have been far more intriguing. And Sandy is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's roll back and make ourselves this uh, bookcase. Man, yeah, I was actually hoping for the vending machine. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's make that real quick. 
I mean, it's such a small, crappy little bookcase. Uh, we could make something much nicer for her, but no, she just wants that. All right, it's outstanding though, outstanding quality. Beautiful. Back we go. You know, I'm gonna actually take the long way because I'm gonna do my usual canvas purchase today. Ooh, and you know what I think we're gonna do? Ooh, also first, I didn't notice I had a point to spend down there. <laughs> What do we got? Workshop? Oh, I'm running out of things to put into here. You know what? Even though I'm never going to sell another animal again. Yeah, maybe we do do you. More floor? Yeah, let's just make like a tower. <laughs> Keep our same footprint and go like four stories up. Yeah, hell yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> we just keep, keep getting points. We're going to have everything soon. We've got two more points and we're done <laughs> with this tree. <laughs> oh, lovely. All right, well, let's buy our usual canvas. Ooh, you've got... Oh, no, that's rough cloth. Never mind, never mind. I've got that being made. Actually, it's probably done, and I forgot to collect it off of the tailoring machine earlier, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, Katori, I could have made you something much more interesting and fun, but no, you just want a bookshelf? Yeah. Granted, if she would have wanted a vending machine, we probably would have had to wait for a schematic for that. Hey, Katori, I got your thing. Come on over here and watch me install it. You'll, you'll say something anyway as you'll teleport it to the cutscene. <laughs> All right, where are we installing this thing? Over here? Really? I would have thought, like, right around here. Oh, Heidi's doing, playing the punch game she loves. Also, hi, Heidi. Oh, I was wondering if she might have something fun to say, Catch but no. Later. Later. Yeah, I would have thought maybe, like, over here or over here by the table, but all right, over here. Install! Is it going to be full of snacks? God, it's such a tiny little Thank table. You. Or bookshelf, this is really. Perfect. I really appreciate your help with this. No problem. I have a lot of great ideas, but mm -hmm. I don't always have the right skills to make them happen. <laughs> Anytime, wink. <laughs> no, we are a committed man who will be proposing to my end in a few episodes, probably. I'm glad I can help. It's what I do. Just the same. I do appreciate it. Uh -huh. You know, this has me thinking. I uh -huh. could eventually add a whole snack bar. Oh! Even a restaurant in here right. someday. I have to expand the whole game center first, of uh -huh. course. Very true. Maybe even add some live entertainment. Then you would be directly competing with the Blue Moon Saloon, and I don't think that'd go well for you. I could hire a magician and do children's parties. Wouldn't that be amazing? There's only two children in Sandrock. The little hooligan and Jasmine. I don't think that would make you much money. Oh, I once saw a mechanical band made of spare parts and electronics in Atara. Boy, that would be something if I could get one of those. Oh, no. Don't go the Chuck E. Cheese route. Don't go the Chuck E. Cheese route. Those things were horrifying. Which, on that, do they still exist? I don't know. I haven't been to one in decades. <laughs> well, I don't know about decades, plural. That would be quite a long time, but... I haven't been to one of those in a long time. If I decorated the robot band to look like friendly animals dressed like people, oh no, this would go nuts. Oh no, don't do it, Katori. All oh, that beauty and brains too brilliant. Man, it's really given us a lot of opportunities to go after Katori here. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Of course, I'd want to run it by Owen as a professional Curtis. Or maybe he'd be interested in being partners. No, I don't see that happening. Now that would be something, wouldn't it? Imagine what I could do with the kind of dough he's got in his pocket. God, I know, right? We went to his house recently. He's pretty loaded around here. Listen to me. Dreaming impossible dreams. Yeah. Uh -huh. Impossible for now, anyway. One step at a time, right? Too true, Katori. Expanding to offer a few snacks is a good start. Agreed. Not exactly competing with Owen Saloon, but maybe it'll keep my customers here a little longer before they head to his place for a real meal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, it's really given us a lot of opportunities to go after here. I'd do anything for you if it made you smile. Again, wink. <laughs> Your customers may never leave. You're always so helpful and kind. Darn right. I think we've got a lot in common. Always hey. working, always trying to better ourselves and grow our business. Doesn't leave much time for leisure or friendship, does it? Hey, you say that, but I've I've got a significant other. We go on dates on occasion. Granted, haven't done one in a while. And also, my business is actually successful, Katari. <laughs> it 
If you could carve out some time from your busy schedule tomorrow evening, I think I could too. Care to meet me at the Blue Moon for dinner and a nice long chat? As friends? Well, there's no heart option here, so I'm assuming so. All right. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. I'd love to. Oh, God. That, it's, uh, first off, tomorrow is also still dance festival. Granted, we're, <laughs> we're not going to be a part of it now since we didn't sign up. Uh, I'm okay with that, actually. Terrific. I'll see you there tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay. Got it. Which, I mean, on that. Hold on. Yep. Definitely glad we don't. <laughs> You know, I'm actually happy about this. It's a dance game. It's going to be a dance thing. I'm awful at rhythm games, so I'm actually okay with that never being a thing. Oh, wait, it's actually still a quest. All right, cool. Nifty. Hope my end doesn't get jealous about that. We're just meeting as friends, as friends. Anything interesting to buy in here? The hell? When did this come around? Is that always there? Luck 268? Dang. Nice. The ridiculous clothing. Cool. Would have to play a lot of t uh, games to actually get these. Ooh, a sandfish aquarium. Nifty. Well, I'm out. Oh, I did like that. Hold on, there was that desk fan. That's kind of nice. Retro fan. Very cool. Love that. All right, out we go. <laughs> and now, since we're ignoring the dance festival, which I am perfectly okay with, let's go do some commissions. Okay, Trudy is now a buddy, and why did Heidi and Jasmine's relationship go up with me from Trudy liking my DNA model? I never understand how that how that works. <laughs> I just don't understand the friendship relationship system in this game. So many times we get weird things where people suddenly like something when someone else did, and I, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, uh, I got some wood over here I was making. Got it. Uh, let's also get that cloth before I forget again. No, no, I did grab it. Okay. Good. Nifty. Alright, shove all that in here. And yeah, do some commissions to finish off the day. And we'll ignore the dance festival, because screw that noise. Uh, these would probably be all rare. No. Hardened leather. Rubber tombs. Canvas. Hmm. Oh, the hardened leather, though. Do we have the ability to make more of that? Because I did get some, like, hardened animal hide or something recently, didn't I? Do we not know how to make hardened leather? Huh. So I'm definitely not seeing it in here. Uh, that would, I think, be a no. I'm going to make more of you. There we go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have stopped before I was done going through everything. Deputy Cap. Nah. Uh, yep. Okay. That's where we were with the album. So can I not? Or was it maybe over here? I don't think it would be on the tailoring machine. That doesn't make... Well, we do have tan leather over here, so never mind. It might be this. Why is leather on here? <laughs> everything else makes sense. Hard and leather. Oh, yeah, we've got enough to make plenty. Sweet. And apparently I have one in here somewhere, so let's shove that in there. Noise. All right, yeah, we'll take that one. Was It was, it was one of the better priced ones. Ooh, we're going to have to see Mabel, though. <laughs> Fair. Uh, you know, I made a lot of nails recently, so sure, we'll take that one. And the canvas. All the others, meh. I don't want to do rare parts for the pumping pipes. So even though it's worth a lot, I'll just take the canvas. Get it. All right, let's go turn those in. Splat! We ride! Let's go, buddy! And away. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was about to say, who who did I take a commission from up here? That's the nails. It's the nails. Yeah, there they are. Hi, Crystal. How are you? I see you playing with pebbles. Well, your husband is. Hi, you. Here you go. Lovely. There we go. Some nice and successful nails delivered. And... 
Oh boy, apparently the others are over here. Wait. I just... I just made the hardened leather. Oh, it's probably not outstanding, is it? It's probably not outstanding. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I just made that, didn't I? That's the only outstanding one. Oh, boy. Oh, and also, that's time, doesn't it? Yep, 12 minutes. I didn't even think about it. I was thinking work table, you know, where it goes into my inventory immediately. So those haven't been made yet. They haven't been made yet. They'll be outstanding when they come out. Got it. So that'll have to happen off camera. <laughs> I was so confused for a moment. I forgot the tailor. Even though I literally collected some cloth from the tailoring machine earlier, for some reason my brain went, oh yeah, it's like the work table. It'll just go straight on in. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, let's go up here and, oh God, where did that? What? He was right there! You saw it on the map? On the mini-map? He just teleported! That's a red? Have we met you before? Oh, you're just a random person coming through town. Got it. Unsure! Here's your canvas. I don't know why you and Justice keep asking for canvas, but there you go. I always, I always make some good money off of it, so... Oh, hi, Nemo. How are you? Yep, bow wow. Good dog. Buh bye You know what? You know what? Nope, nope, Jasmine, you're in the way of my horse. You're still in the way of my horse. There we go. Let's go make that gun I keep forgetting to for Macchiato. <laughs> we still got a couple of minutes left in today's uh, episode. Oh, that's going to take a while to make, too. Well, I'm going to make it anyways, and I'll just give it to him off cam. I've given them the handgun before, but I've never given him the assault rifle. I assume he'll like it. <laughs> I'm intrigued by that. Let's actually go check on him, though. Uh, pets. Oh, yes. I don't actually have any pets. Hmm. Oh, does Macchiato actually like me a little bit? Or did I just not see him in there? Nope. Okay, back to... Oh, everyone. I don't know where he is. There you are, buddy. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. And... Yeah, he loves... Oh, yeah, he loves the Rose Stone, the Animal House, and the Vintage Pistol. Let's make him a bigger gun. And... Yeah, I got all the things. Beautiful. He shall have a vintage assault rifle. Because he is the best of cats. <laughs> Alright, well I think that is where I am going to end the episode here for today. Because, yeah, it, we just gotta wait for a couple of materials to be made. And I'll go deliver those off cam. And hopefully Macchiato will like the new gun I give him. Uh, and the next episode, I'll probably start the day off and do some things and hopefully see some stuff around town because, well, we ain't doing the dance off. And honestly, I'm actually kind of okay with that. I, like I said, I suck at rhythm games, so I don't think it would have been fun for me anyways. So we're just going to ignore that and as if it never occurred or happened. And I am perfectly okay. Now, we will, of course, once the proper festival comes around we'll of course do that the chase of memories and all that but uh this eh <laughs> so hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching and as always we'll have a good one